ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, and anyone in between any of those demographics. It's Dream Akuma here. And I wanted to do a, a pseudo review, a sort of kind of review. We got Dungeon Crawl Classics, Crypt of the Devil Lich. Uh, this was originally DCC number 13 for 3.0, 3.5, somewhere around there. That third edition era of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I think people are starting to lose the distinction between 3.0 and 3.5, so, eh. But that's an old holdover from back in the day. Uh, Crypt of the Devil Lich. This was one of their Kickstarters. Now, full disclaimer, DCC, Dungeon Crawl Classics, is one of my favorite games. I absolutely love the game. I own several copies of the game right up there. I have boxes full of the modules. I've... Uh, I've done, I did the Mutant Crawl Kickstarter with a friend, and uh, I went and bought Mutant Crawl as well. I've got Lankmar, I've got uh, some of the third party stuff, I've got a bunch of zines for it. Giant mega fan. This was where I started to kind of turn off from them a little bit, was uh, during the COVID, I'm going to call it the Kickstarter-rama where they were just pumping out Kickstarter project after Kickstarter project after Kickstarter project, and then they announced that they were going to do some stuff on Indiegogo. And it's like, hold up. <laughs> like, just chill, okay? You're a large company. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of Goodman as well, because we've got back there a bunch of the original adventures reincarnated. Um I'm glad I didn't back this. Uh, I, in anticipation of reading this, uh, I sort of got to peruse the 5th edition. Funny story to kind of add to this and add to the tangent. I originally bought the 5e version of this thinking that it would be a while before I could get my hands on the DCC copy. And the next shop we went into had the DCC copy. So uh, I literally traded my 5e copy for a Dungeon Crawl Classics copy. Because I thought this might be a little bit harder to find in uh, the proper edition, in my opinion. <sighs> a little disappointed. A little bit. It's a super lethal. For 5e, it's for 15th level. For DCC, it's set to 7th level. Uh... I feel like this really does show that it was meant as a third edition Dungeons and Dragons module and didn't convert over very well. And part of it shows in the production. I went and got the PDF of the third edition module and read it to kind of compare and contrast. And In some parts, the art in the third edition holds up a little better than this. And, you know, that's not the case in every instance. Uh, I liked the spectral shark, but, like, you can, you can tell that there's a choker in here. Like, they don't, they don't call it a choker particularly, but that's a choker. That's one of the better art pieces, though. Uh... It's a super lethal thing. It's essentially their take on Tomb of Horrors. It's built as a tournament module, and if you do tournaments, all probably 50 of the people on the planet that do tournament modules, um, you have notes for it in here. It would probably would have been better just to kind of have them in the back of the book and not peppered throughout in a few spots saying, oh, for tournament play, do this. If you're running it in a campaign, do this. Uh, kind of breaks up the wordiness it, it, it kind of suddenly gives you something that you really shouldn't be like caring about as much they do have like a spot for tournament play uh, like scoring system yeah tournament scoring here in the back but they also have it in the front like some stuff about tournament play and if you like D&D &D tournaments or RPG tournaments 
good on you. I don't care. It It's not something I'm going to interact with. I don't think I'm going to take this book to a convention to try to run it. Okay? <laughs> like, I know some people will, and good on them. I don't think that's going to be the majority of the people who read this book. Uh... I won't give away the synopsis too much. Uh, some of the highlights. There's a mummy dragon. Mummy dragons are badass. I love mummy dragons. Uh, there was controversy during the Kickstarter itself where Sin Julian, uh, the artist who did the cover art, famed fantasy illustrator, apparently may have traced over something. And a different artist had done some work prior, so they had to change the art like mid campaign. Uh, the book quality it's got a stitch bound, uh, two stitch bound uh, bookmarks, which are useful. The spine kind of feels a little wonky, like this feels a little cheap, doesn't feel like the best quality it does kind of look stitch bound so maybe that's good but i feel like the paper on the edge here is just already kind of wearing thin and i've only had this for about a week uh interior art really good stuff really kind of hard to show it but you know it's pretty good um time to rip the band-aid off the maps in this are fucking atrocious i can't i don't have a better way to put it dungeon crawl classics has set a standard for what maps look like uh that i don't think many companies can even be in the same ballpark as like okay this is a ten dollar module the making of a ghost ring right let's go to the back here Let's just find a this is a this is a fairly boring map, mind you. But you've got illustrations, you've got uh you know little details, artistic details. Uh it makes the map busy. It looks good to the eye. Uh here's another one for the another area. Like you've got the ring. This looks great, this looks fantastic. This is on a $10 module. You know, $9.99 is on the fucking back. Right? They want $40. Okay? I used the bookmarks. And this looks dull and boring and uninspired. It's a slight step above the 3.5 modules, which... Uh, I think the PDF is different from the print version. Uh, I'm not sure. I've seen some of the old, like, I've got Area of the Crow God and it had blue. Um, but I've seen some copies of the map in black. I don't know. But maybe it's the hardcover, right? Maybe it's the hardcover. Now, don't mind the flash, because this is just a fancier version, but this is the Chained Coffin. This was a Dungeon Crawl Classics, uh, adventure path like this was this was their take on fifth edition's 5e paths and here's just a map of the region like look at that that's beautiful that's a hardcover book so oh you know what maybe maybe it's just uh maybe it's just that map right well, here's a hex map for the Shutter Mountains. And hard to see it, but looks pretty good. But that's just a hex map. Let's. Oh, hey, look. Here's more really good, fantastic, detailed maps. And I can't help but feel like these basic maps, which there's a couple more in here, where it just sort of looks like they're on a. Uh, uh, oh, there's a bone devil. Uh, it just sort of looks like they're kind of just put on like a map decal. Like, uh, here we go. 
the level four just kind of looks meh, right? Um, I, it's, it's a huge nitpick for me. I know like some people won't care. Oh, maps, who cares? But, uh, when it says Goodman Games and it says Dungeon Crawl Classics, you kind of want something that Goodman Games produces for Dungeon Crawl Classics. And between the book quality kind of feeling not up to snuff and the maps being kind of rough and oh, even the paper feels a little weird like quality wise it seems pretty meh adventure wise this is a super lethal dungeon that is a little bit more traditional than what dcc is kind of known for like hole in the sky can have you for for dcc there's a zero level called hole in the sky where you literally like get to spin the wheel of fate and and walk on an invisible bridge this kind of feels a lot more mired in that 3.5 ness and i guess with a reduced price tag of 40 bucks i can't complain too much but i can't wholeheartedly say hey this is a must get for any any big dcc guy i feel like this was kind of uh neutered to fit d uh to fit 5e sensibilities rather than do like a full-blown dcc this makes me not really look forward to the upcoming OAR releases because they're doing OAR for 5e and DCC for uh, Dark Tower and another one of the Judges Guild books. And if they're going to kind of do this half measures, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. But yeah, that's that's my quick review. Uh, yeah. Not awful, but a little disappointing.